Hi! I didn't see you there. My name is Caroline, and welcome to GCMO. Today, we're going to be making a basket out of newspaper. You're going to need newspaper, tape, scissors, and clips. In order to weave our newspaper together, we're going to have to make long rolls of it. Go ahead and grab your piece of newspaper, lay it out flat, and start rolling it. Do this by gently folding little tiny sections up and pressing them down and repeat that process like I'm doing here. Start off really small because the higher up we go on the newspaper, the bigger it's going to get. Once you've reached the end of your newspaper roll, grab your tape. You're going to need multiple pieces of tape. I chose to do five pieces of tape. One tape in the middle, two pieces of tape on each end, and then one piece of tape in between those sections. Repeat the rolling and taping process until you have about 18 rolls of newspaper. And now we start our weaving. So I chose a six by six base for my basket. I laid down six pieces of newspaper roll and then I pulled up three of them to lay one piece of newspaper roll in between them. And then I'm pulling up three alternating pieces while also laying a newspaper roll perpendicular to those six pieces that are on my table. Repeat this process until you have six newspaper rolls one way and six going the other way. And now we're moving on to the side of the basket. So here I am lifting up the newspaper to weave one long piece of newspaper around the basket. I'm using my clip to keep everything in place. Now this part is really tricky. So be patient with yourself and the clips will help you. As you're weaving, you're moving one long newspaper roll in between the prongs of the basket that are sticking up and you want to make a pattern of over and under, over and under. If you mess up, no worries. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you tried, that's all that really matters. When you've woven one of your newspaper rolls through the basket and you've reached the end of it, grab another one that you have on the side and tape those two together to continue the length of that newspaper roll. So while we're weaving our basket together, let's talk a little bit about the history of basket weaving. Some historians believe that basket weaving actually predates pottery, but since baskets are normally woven out of materials that decompose at a natural rate, there's really no way to tell when the first baskets were woven or what part of civilization wove them first. But the earliest evidence of basketry was actually imprinted upon pottery shards. And this dated before 18,000 BCE was found in Gamble's Cave in Kenya. And these pottery shards had impressions of basket work on their surface, which leads historians to believe that basketry was a part of this civilization. Now, the oldest found evidence of basketry was dated around 7,000 BCE, and this was found in Danger Cave in Utah. And the people that were living in this area around that time were most likely nomadic people groups. So that would be hunters and gatherers, they would be using caves for shelters, so on and so forth. And the way that they used basketry in their culture um, was for transportation purposes. They would kind of use it in the same way that we would use Tupperware. So they would collect food in it, use it to help them move from one location to the next. And again, remember, your newspaper basket does not have to be perfect. As you can see here, I totally forgot to weave one of these rolls into it. So I'm just kind of forcing it through in a pattern that fits the basket. There are many different kinds of basket weaving. There's coiling, which is a technique of winding up the fiber like a snake while stitching it every inch or so. And then there's splint weaving, which is a technique of weaving flat materials. It's kind of like what we're doing right now. Um, and the interesting thing is because baskets were so central to the movement of goods, when trade-based economies began to flourish, you can see the tracking of different types of basket weaving techniques move between different parts of the world. 
To complete your basket, you're gonna take those pieces that are sticking up straight, you're going to fold them over the edge of the basket. Now, if you have a, a piece that is on the outside, you're gonna fold it towards the inside, and if you have a piece that's on the inside, you're gonna fold it towards the outside. If you have a piece long enough, you can weave it back into your basket to hold it in place, but if you don't, just use a piece of tape. And there it is, your completed basket. You did so well. Thanks for joining me on GCM at home.